Yeah, with Nick Reinberger, 97.3 ABC. All right, a special hello to all of our listeners who are in a truck as we speak. Uh, thank you very much for uh, choosing us to keep your company. We know the truckies are severely under pressure. Uh, after 20 years of, of lobbying, it's only just now, for instance, that truckies are possibly getting some sort of safe pay rate, which includes all of their loading and unloading and all of their waiting. How often have we heard that, that they're under such pressure to get in line at the loading dock for the big supermarkets that they're going without sleep? And they're fighting against regulations on the one hand and against uh, demands from clients on the other hand. It's a hard life. Now, in another amazing statistic, uh, truck drivers, according to Julie Powers' story in the Sydney Morning Herald, have a fatality rate 11 times other workers. 11 times more likely to die at work than others. Twice as likely to smoke. 80% uh, overweight or obese. And there are more problems. Uh, St Vincent's have uh, set up a uh, new driver helpline, 1300 Driver, to help truck drivers get through some of these tough times. Frank Black is an owner and driver representative with the Australian Trucking Association, and he joins us now here at 97.3 ABC Illawarra. G'day, Frank. How are you going? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you yourself? Uh, how hard is it, life on the road? It, it can get demanding at times, um, and um, as, you, as you've mentioned, um, and because of the, 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 the demands and the pressures that are put on drivers and, and also the economic pressures, you know, the guys um, do start to find it very, very tough. And who, who do truckies tend to turn to if they're on the road and they're having it hard? Well... A lot of them really have got no, no one to turn to, so um, that's why this is a great initiative of uh, St Vincent's Hospital and the New South Wales Government to set up a, um, a helpline like this. And I really think that, um, you know, with the, the safe rates um, campaign that's going on and uh, the, the fact that we've got um, the Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal there and the union working heavily with the tribunal to set minimum rates of pay. Um, all hand in hand is going to go a long way to helping a lot of the issues out here for drivers on the road. How's the helpline going to work? Who's going to be at the other end? Well, there, there's some trained professionals there that um, are counsellors and that that um, are available 24 hours a day from what I understand and uh, I'm pretty sure they're accessible for nationwide and the truckies or their families will be able to ring in and talk to these professionals um, and tell them of what's going on and um, maybe if they've got themselves in a situation of um, maybe substance abuse or something like that um, and they're really not knowing how to handle it now uh, they'll be able to talk to these professionals and these professionals will be able to, to help them through things, you know, or advise them through things. Yeah, I mean, there are services out there, you know, Lifeline or Men's Helpline and, and, and other ones like that. How's this one going to be different? Are the people at the other end going to be briefed on the, the, the special requirements that, that truck drivers have? Yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they are. And they also briefed in, in, in the fact of um, probably the different substances um, that are used, you know, throughout the industry at, at times, and the different probably pressures that um, that are faced by the by the particular industry. So I think this, that'll be the, the difference here, you know. Okay, and how are you going to get the word out to truckies? Do you think they're going to be, you know, willing to use it? Look, I think deep down. Um, Everyone, everyone's looking for some sort of um, help. Um, I think once the word does get around, whether they... See, this is the beauty about everything being anonymous. They don't have to tell anybody that they're ringing up. Yeah. Or the family member doesn't have to say that they're ringing up. They can just do it. Um, they can slip away on their own if the pressure's getting too much. They can ring these people. Um, these people can, can help them. And as I say, it's great that they're there to, to treat the symptoms. And then we've got the TW in the Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal there to, set, to treat the cause. So hopefully this is going to go a long way to solving a lot of problems, like on the road and um, within the drivers. Yeah, you mentioned the, there are various substances which a lot of truckies turn to. What sort of underlying problems does that indicate? Well, look, 
you know, when when drivers are put under pressure, whether it be for timeline or whether it be for financial pressures, this obviously has a has an effect on their family life uh, and their personal relationships, you know. Um, mm. and, and and so it just builds on, you know. And so not only then are these people facing, you know, the economic pressures and. Um, you know, the depressing feeling of not being able to, to, to support their families properly and that, but they, they also then start to feel alienated within their own family and friends and, and that causes a lot of problems. It works on their minds and it will affect their driving performance. It can affect a lot of things. And are we closer to getting some sort of answer in the whole chain of command for Truckies Pay? Because I've heard so often that, you know, they don't get paid for waiting at the docks. They don't get paid for loading and unloading, which seems crazy because it just seems to be such a part of the job. Well, it is. It is. I mean, uh, you know, for instance, you wouldn't come to work if you don't get paid. And a lot of other people, normal people, would not go to work if they don't get paid. And these drivers are the same. But the point is, they spend so many hours there and they, they feel obligated to stay there because they, they need to to look after their, their families and their, and their own own affairs, you know. Um, and as I said, the, the, the TW is fighting very, very hard in the tribunal there and putting the cases forward. The tribunal is being sympathetic and, and listening to both sides of the stories. I think we're going to go somewhere. Our biggest trouble is, though, that the, the government is the, the, the talking about dissolving this tribunal. Now, why would... Why would they even think about dissolving a tribunal? You know, especially a tribunal that's got the capacity to to affect road road safety, to affect the, the quality of the lives of the drivers. Um, it, it affects just so many people. Why would the government the government even contemplate it? It's got me beat. All right, it's been great to talk to you this morning, and thanks very much for having a chat with me, Frank. No worries, thank you. Frank Black, uh, an owner driver and uh, part of the Australian Trucking Association here at 97.3 ABC Illawarra. You're Nick Reinberger.